It's a real pleasure talking to you guys today because uh, I'd like to say I'm one of your greatest fans, um, but I'm not actually because everybody just love you here. Yay! Thank you very much. And, and we do. Thank we you. think you're absolutely great. We love you too, Sid. Love you. <laughs> been been around these Americans too long. <laughs> All right. Okay. First question I'm going to ask you: Is there one person who you would say is the driving force behind your music, and the reason you do what you do as unsigned artists? It's the only thing we're any good at. I think that's probably about <laughs> Tim Hamill. Tim Hamill, Sonic One Studios Wales, is a brilliant producer for bands in our situation who haven't got a lot of money and want to record. Um, and all those demos we did there in one day, and he's helped us massively, as he has helped lots of bands around the UK. So that's a big shout out for Tim Hamill and Sonic One Studios in Wales. Uh, Howard, what do you think? Um, also, Jerry Ravel, who's our estranged filmmaker. Um, yeah, these, <laughs> these volunteers are invaluable in, in our kind of um, beta rays, um, slim pickings times, basically. <laughs> and uh, they're really helping us, along obviously with Fame Games, who are probably the best medium we've got out there so far, apart from, you know, with, as along with, with a few radio stations over here. But you guys have been really good. It's been fantastic, luckily for us, doing so well on the show as well, which has been great. The next question I'm going to ask you is, being an indie artist has its ups and downs, and what would you say has been your biggest downer as a band? Never having any money. <laughs> <laughs> until until you get through and that's that's the hardest part but you know it's a struggle but you know we want to keep going and we, we feel like we're close and we feel like we're writing well and how what, what do you think what's your, what's your biggest down so far oh, i think my, my biggest down my biggest down so far swine flu is what's probably swine flu <laughs> <laughs> has there ever been a time when you thought about just giving it all up yes um, <laughs> um, you know, London's a hard city to live in when you've got to really go full time with a band. But we, we've managed it now for over a year and a half with Beta Rays. And, we, and to be honest with you, the good times outweigh the bad. And, and you know, we know we're heading towards something, so we, we're going to carry on. We're not. We're never going to give up. I don't think. I'm, I'm sure we won't. Excellent. What's it like to be in the Fame Games final? It is. It's like that. It's absolutely incredible to be in the Fame Games final. We are so lucky again to get into another final on Fame Games, and for us, especially with Set It Up, which is our favourite one, um, incredible. Howard, how do you feel about being in the final on Fame Games? Do you mind if I express myself through the medium of guitar? Well, I you possibly could. <laughs> it's that good. He's excited. <laughs> <laughs> Who fell in love with a slut? <laughs> uh, both of us. <laughs> was it the, the same, same time? Um, yeah. Not the same person. No. <laughs> not with the same person. Not, th not this time, anyway. <laughs> and Actually, Howard, Howard wrote that lyric, so I'm going to blame him. He fell in love with a slut. Got to, got to say, that's uh, that's certainly one of my favourites. Um, best wishes as well. I mean, that's that's another one about a bit of a dumping going on, isn't it? That's a true story. That was my uh, that was my birthday in 2007 and I was dumped on my birthday and she did it again the very next year but I didn't actually write that well that's a, that, honestly that's true and that's a long story and I need to write another song called Bitch Dumped Me On My Birthday again <laughs> and I will <laughs> Super but your songs are so diverse you know and right now you're talking about them coming from obviously personal experiences is that how it normally happens for you or, or and another question which is sort of tagged on to that is there anybody that really out of all of you is really the songwriter or is it a mixture of all of you? Um, well, there's a, I'm going to get in trouble for this, probably, but there's only two writers in the band, really. It's just uh, me and Howard, uh, George and Howard. So it's kind of, um, I think, that, well, we, we, did, we are trying to experiment with writing with the other, are we? Are we trying to? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, but I mean, they're brilliant musicians and, and they, they get what we're doing straight away and then they turn it into their own feel afterwards. So I guess, in a way, we all have a contribution, definitely. Generally, I'll do the melody and Howard will do the music, but not always. We, we can change that round. And sometimes Howard writes a lyric 
you know, sometimes I write some music, it just depends, but usually it's Howard and myself, yeah. Mm. What is the best thing about being an indie? We've talked about, you know, some of uh, your bad times of being indie. What about the best times? What do you think? I think, um, I think probably the best things is, is just um, the, the kind of the freedom you get to do, uh, you know, to kind of choose what you want to do all the time. Like in terms of like playing, you know, certain gigs and writing certain songs, particularly with the writing uh, and the style. And I guess once you're signed, you get, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, dictation from the record label about what you do. The best thing for me, I think, um, would be the response on Fame Games. I mean, I, I just, you know, because you never really know what other people think about your music until it gets into some kind of um, kind of big, uh, I don't know how you explain it, well, something like Fame Games, I guess, where a lot of people judge you. And because we've had such a good response, that's really picked me up and really kind of, it's motivated me quite a lot, actually, um, in terms of what we're doing hopefully is right so we've got to keep going actually i tell you what guys you know nearly all the staff has actually walked in here now just to, to hear this interview so people are throwing <laughs> questions at me good grief <laughs> Um, well, you know, but uh, uh, <laughs> deservedly so. <clears throat> One of the questions thrown at me is that um, when you actually sort of listen to Fame Games, are there any particular artists that you think, you know, these guys or this woman or this singer or whatever is, is rather special? The crazy majority, go! Yeah, <laughs> uh, Martin Sherlock. He's, he's the greatest. He's fabulous.